Fiji mermaids, and other sideshow hoaxes. Come explore that with me in this episode of Ripley's Believe It or Not. The legend of the amazing Fiji mermaid. It started in 1842 with P.T. Barnum, the great sideshow impresario who convinced several newspapers that this little creature in here was real. Now, soon thereafter, everybody bought into the hoax. And for many decades, Barnum made a fortune out of this absolute forgery. Everybody was absolutely convinced this thing was real. It wasn't really until many, many decades later when Robert Ripley himself displayed the Fiji mermaid in his New York show, but as a hoax, and explained to everyone that this great mystery of nature was nothing more than the torso of a monkey with the back half of a fish. What do you get when you mix a rabbit, an owl, and put some antlers and add some fangs? What, it's the German Wolpertinger, y'all? Yeah? It's a taxidermy marvel of many different woodland creatures. You get an owl or a bird, you get some kind of little mammal, you mash it all together and you get the Volpertinger. His American cousin is the jackalope. It's a funny looking rabbit with the antlers. He certainly would make for an interesting family reunion, don't you think? Tiny little aliens found in Chile. Oh, anything is possible. They found a small alien-like creature about six and a half inches tall in the Atacama Desert in Chile, which Robert Ripley named at a boy. But 10 years later, there was another creature that was found in the same region. And the UFO crowd insists that maybe, perhaps, could be. But we really know that it is not an alien. Robert Ripley actually said that the one he found was the subject of a full body reduction done by the Jivaro Indians, the very same tribe that creates the famous shrunken heads, which are very, very real. Today's special, furry trout. It's actually not a special at your local fish joint. It's a long tradition in Canada and Iceland. Icelandic lore actually tells the story that if you eat furry trout, you'll get turned into a dinosaur, which explains why every single Icelandic child keeps asking for furry fish sticks, y'all. Yeah? The American folklore side of the story says that when this furry trout would come out of the water, the change in temperature was so extreme that they would explode immediately, like furry grenades. <laughs> Believe it or not. Fish grenade! If you ate furry fish sticks, what would you like to be turned into? Why don't you tell us in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Also, visit our website for all the show notes and extras. Tiny little aliens in Chile. In Chile, like you're in a bowl of chili. Found in Chile. No, oh, there's an alien in my chili! That little waitress! <laughs>